I somehow screwed up the talking bit of this video, so this is a reenactment I'm doing in my car on my way home from work. Dejan Spaso, that's not pronounced correctly, had the brilliant idea of testing the piston in a different cylinder, normal cylinder, to check compression. My chaotic mess of a mind often overlook simple solutions like this, so thanks. Bore piston clearance was a bit large on this cylinder, it's a 40mm bore. Piston is 39.85 and uh, so I can't really trust the results. I'm trying with a short SPX cylinder, which is much shorter, won't fit on the case without a massive spacer. So I'm assembling one of the trash stock SPX cases for testing. No luck with this cylinder either, it's uh, showing about 50 psi and which is probably not accurate but normally I get about 100 psi with this gauge on other builds. I noticed by shining a light into the case that I could see, uh, see it coming through on the side of the piston with the ring in there above the transverse so obviously the ring wasn't butting up against the bore. It seems to be binding up somehow. Modify the ring, we got compression. The ring now looks and functions very much like uh, a few of my early ideas for this concept. If you go way, way back in this series, you'll, um, you'll see one of the first videos I'm talking about ways to retain the ring. Uh, I think also people have commented and suggested similar things like what I've, uh, what I've done to it. Speaking of comments, please, before you leave a comment, watch the whole series, this whole series if you have the time and want to. There's a lot of confusion out there and watching the rest of the videos will probably clear up a lot of stuff. Okay, progress. Stay tuned. See you next time.